But first up, it's a kids' day out for Sally. School holidays and bored children can be a recipe for disaster. But what if you could let your kids run wild in a beautiful natural playground? The Australian Botanic Garden Mount Annan is the biggest of its kind in the whole of Australia. It's also a living resource for kids keen on exploring their natural environment. Eloise, tell me about the Seedling Nature School. Yes, so Seedlings is a program for two and a half to five year olds. So it's all about connecting little children to nature and the garden. So we really want to get kids out and about playing, getting dirty, getting messy. We have a mud kitchen, we look for bugs, we go dip netting in the lake. There's so much to do and it's really about empowering children to feel confident and at ease in nature and feel like nature is something that is for them and not something to be feared or shied away from. Because we do see that a lot of kids, when they first come, they're a bit standoffish, they don't really know what to do, they don't really want to get dirty, but after a few weeks they're ready to go and they're getting straight into our mud kitchen and having a lot of fun. And it's not just this section of the park they can explore, is it? They've got so much here to look at. Yeah, it's a huge place. And yeah, the Botanic Gardens of Sydney is three gardens. We have all sorts of different educational programs across our three gardens. So our City Garden, the Australian Botanic Garden Mount Annan and the Blue Mountains Botanic Garden in Mount Toma. At Seedling Nature School, kids get to play with mud, go hunting for bugs. It's a grasshopper. Enjoy storytelling and plenty of free play. For budding builders, there's also a First Nations Shelters and Bushcraft program. Tyra, these shelters are so cool and they're based on First Nations designs? Correct. Oh. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get as much information over to the kids mm. so they can actually share culture, seeing that we have lost so much culture already. Yeah. So it's getting the children back into it and actually getting a feel of all the things that they're using, which is fabulous. What materials are you using? So we're using paper bark today and we are also using sticks. Right. So paper bark is actually waterproof. So just like we waterproof our houses today, you had to waterproof your house in those days yeah. as well. Have you tested it out? Perfectly? I have, yes. You slept in one of your yes. own shelters? Yes. Okay, well, I trust you. <laughs> the Botanic Garden is an incredible display of Australian flora, plus a home for native fauna. And giving me the garden tour is curator manager Mike. So Mike, is this Australia's largest botanic garden? Yes, it is. It's Australia's largest botanic garden being at 416 hectares in size. Wow. We have over 30 hectares of conservation woodlands here. We have 30 hectares of display gardens, totaling around 156,000 planted plants on display wow. for people to come visit. So it encompasses a lot of space. <laughs> yeah, it's like the green jewel of Western Sydney. It is a, a monster of a site. Great. And it's not just the gardens, is it? It's also an action-packed space. Yeah, you can come here and have picnics down by the lake or then you can jump on your mountain bike and go on our trails from beginners from kids up into advanced trails as well. We have yeah. here on site. If you prefer a cruisier pace, the Gardens Cafe is a lovely space and a little sanctuary nestled amongst the gum trees. Kylie, beautiful location, beautiful cottage and beautiful dishes to match. Tell me more about the menu here. So we have a modern Australian cafe menu. Mm -hmm. We have all day breakfast, lots of healthy options, vegan options. So we've got a grilled Atlantic salmon with a garlic butter sauce. So we've got an acai bowl, which is really popular at the moment. That also comes with a guarana through it for energy and you've also got a house made granola. So healthy. Yes. <laughs> and there's not only great coffee, but mm -hmm. also cocktails. So you come here and have a long lunch. Yes. All day long. Well, I think yeah. we should start our long lunch now. Yes, what do you definitely. reckon? Okay, I'm going to dig in. <laughs> Look at the colours here. Oh, beautiful edible flowers. Oh. So gather up the kids, leave the devices at home and let them loose in one of Australia's biggest and best gardens. Build a super shelter. For all the info, head to sydneyweekender.com.au.